Guys, it is that time again. Another month, another Airbnb. It's time to pack and check out. Even though this was such a terrible neighborhood, I really liked this place. <laughs> nice, comfortable TV, super comfortable couch. I was working here every day. I was playing my VR headset <laughs> over here in this room. The bathroom was comfortable. The kitchen was decently good to uh, cook and heat up food in. This bedroom was actually really comfortable. And I used the guest room as my closet. Unfortunately, nobody came to visit me. But this is all my stuff. Pretty much everything I own to travel with. So I'm gonna be packing this up. And we're gonna go. A few minutes later. Boom. This technically doesn't really qualify for as carry-on only on some airlines, like Ryanair, Air, but I normally get away with it. Because it's soft, it fits anywhere. All right, so it's time to move on. Let's open it if you get anything so I can't get back in. Look at this old elevator. Just don't put your finger in there. Yeah, it's screwed. Let me just push it open. To unlock this gate. So I had to come down and make sure it was unlocked. And hopefully nobody came in. Yep, very good. As I unlock it out, there's a there's people arguing in there. You're apologizing for yelling in front of that other person's window too much. So I don't know if you guys know who Rick Steves is. We'll start up there at the historic, cultural, and literal high point of any trip to Athens, the Acropolis. But I remember watching one of his videos uh, about Greece and Athens, and he said, don't be surprised if there's a strike or a riot during your stay and it affects your travel plans. Uh, it's like, you know, the museum might be closed, the site might be closed, the uh, trains might not work. So this is the last time the Metro's working for a while. They are going on strike as they do here in Greece all the time. And I was like, what, what are the odds of that happening to me? Like, while I'm here, right? But, you know, it's pretty small, right? It doesn't happen that often. Once every year, every couple years. So on the day I'm leaving to the airport, the Metro goes on strike. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. All right, I'm saying goodbye to my neighborhood on the way to the airport bus. Where are you from? India. Oh, nice. How long have you lived in uh, Athens? 32 years. 30 years? 32. 32? Yes. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I've got nine minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Have your, uh, five zero. Huh? Five zero, five zero. Oh, of course. Okay. Five star. Thank you. Have a good day. Nice day. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So, guys, if you're wondering why I'm taking the airport bus, not the metro that I came on, it's because they're on strike, as they do here in Athens, as they do here in Greece. Time to guess where I'm heading, guys. And. Huh. Am I the wrong terminal? 
Well, I don't see my flight on there, but then I noticed on the bottom corner it said Ryanair common check-in. So maybe they just have one desk for everything. Uh, let's go check in and I'll tell you where I'm going, uh, for how long, and what I thought about Greece, and if I would ever come back to Athens again. Alright. All right, so security was relatively easy. Let's see if my flight is even on here. Is that word near a bit? All right, it is in Greek, but at least I can read it. Done. So guys, I am headed to Krakow, to Poland. Even though it was nice to be in Athens for a few weeks, to take a little personal time to edit videos and do some fundraising, I miss being around Ukrainians. I miss being able to help physically and not just online and digitally. So I wanna go back to somewhere where I can be a bit more helpful, uh, volunteer, just, you know, whatever I can do. I don't know, like, honestly what I can do, but, a lot of Ukrainian refugees are going uh, across the border. Poland is still the most popular spot. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and uh, see how I can help. This airport's pretty busy, but it seems okay. The, check the security process was decent. Um, no problem so far, so pretty happy. All right, so let me try to get into this lounge with my priority pass. And I'll tell you all about my trip here. Hello. Okay, I'll leave that side. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, I better show. All right, so this lounge looks pretty good. Then we're gonna a beer. Uh -huh. All right, so here's what I got for nice lunch. No rice and meatballs. And a Greek salad with pasta. All right, guys, so since I have a little bit of time before my flight, let's talk about what I thought of Athens, what I thought of Greece. Uh, first off, uh, tons of history. It's it almost kind of, I feel a little bit like, it's almost weird where I guess so much time has passed since ancient Greece, where we think of like the ancient Greek gods and those times. that a lot of times it's almost kind of like two separate worlds, even though it is the same place. Uh, I am really happy though that on my last day, I went to the National Museum. So I did get to see a little bit of that history. Uh, here's a clip from there. All right, today we're gonna go to the National Museum of Athens. I tried coming last week, but it was closed. So here we are now. Hey guys, I'm super excited to be here in the National Museum here in Athens. Uh, not only do I appreciate uh, history and museums in general, I wanted to see how uh, ancient Greek art would compare to the contemporary blue chip art that you can invest in with Masterworks, this week's sponsor. Masterworks offers the creme of the creme blue chip art from legends like Picasso, Bansky, and Basquiat. Imagine them being a part of your investment portfolio. I think Masterworks is going to be the next big thing because they are the best platform to use if you want to benefit from art's qualities as an investment. Qualities like price appreciation over 23% when inflation has been high and over 3%, or it's low correlation to other major assets, which makes it an easy way to diversify. Masterworks is once again giving my viewers priority access to skip the waitlist. Just click the link below in the description and start diversifying your portfolio with contemporary art.
That must be why they already have 360,000 members on the platform right now, including some of you guys after my last video. So big thank you to Masterworks for sponsoring this video. You can check them out with the link in the description below. All right. Uh, Marvel statues, including my boy Zeus. Some say it's Poseidon. I would like to say, I'm pretty sure it's Zeus not the lighting bulb. This is pretty cool. This is the old chariot. So imagine the wheels here been drawn by a horse, same in here. Thousands of years with the artifacts that just been collected. I would say that these gardens in the center are definitely the nicest part of this museum. How beautiful is this place? Make it out of a uh, solid marble sculpted just like this, guys. So, aside from the history from the museum and the Acropolis and the you know Olympic Stadium, uh, what Greece really has to offer is the islands. It's like outside of Athens. Athens has history, has some cool restaurants. You know, this grungy feel if you like that or. <laughs> but really the islands are beautiful. And the only reason why I didn't go down to the islands this time is because I was there a few years ago and it's more of a chill place where I want to go with friends or someone you're dating. I kind of just, I honestly didn't want to go there by myself and just hang out by the beach. Um, also, it was a little bit cold still. I, I think it's gonna, the best time to come uh, for the islands would definitely be the summer. Uh, but actually my favorite time to come to Greece would be around mid-April when it starts to get warm or after the summer season in September when the water is still warm, uh, but the tourists kind of go away because it gets a little bit too crazy. Uh, here's a clip of the last time I was here in Santorini and we went actually scuba diving. I think this is about four years ago. So we are getting ready to go scuba diving. No my cruisers. You guys excited? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Dive, Dory. Uh, uh, she, she saved me. I could do your extra small bed suit. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Good job. I was staying hot in the water. I saved everyone. Right, Good job, dive buddy. Woo! We conquered the ship! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, until next time. See you guys. Till next time. See you guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finish this beer. I'm gonna get a little work done and I'm gonna hop on the flight back to Poland. Alright, I need to go to gate B31. Thank you, I found a show. Alright, here is my gate. 
V31. All right, so as we're gonna board the plane, uh, I guess my final thoughts on how I liked Athens and if I would come back. Uh, first off, I would definitely come back to Greece, but I wanna to go to the islands. Uh, I regret not going this trip. Um, I think like Greece is so much more than Athens and there's so many beautiful places. Uh, if you come, I would come for at least a few weeks because the island's actually pretty far, so you gotta take a ferry down there, but that's something I wish I would have done. Uh, Athens itself, I like it. There's some things I really like about it, but it's too grimy for me. It's like being in like Skid Row in LA or, you know, these not so nice places. And most of Athens looks like this. There are some nice areas, some nice neighborhoods, but it's really hard to avoid graffiti and junkies on the street. And it's not very safe. Like there's been two or three times in the last couple of weeks I've been here where I felt, even I, like as a big guy, has, has like felt uncomfortable. I don't know, like I don't wanna get into it, but there's been a few times uh, in the last couple of weeks where even I have felt uncomfortable, even as a big guy, especially when I have my phone out. Uh, I've had people even follow me and yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a bit awkward. So I can see why a lot of people wouldn't feel comfortable traveling to Athens, especially alone. Um, but you know, I mean, I didn't actually get robbed, so I guess there's, yeah, there's that. Athens definitely has improved infrastructure-wise in the last couple of years. The internet's gotten slightly better. All right. So now I gotta find my seat. 27. Eh. Alright, so this is my bus to the city center, number 208. Looks like it's been sitting here for a minute, so hopefully I can get on. Okay. And then let's see how this works. Alright, so I just got on this bus, number 208. Uh, it was one dollar, but it doesn't take me straight to my Airbnb, but I'm gonna go pretty close to the city center and then figure it out from there. All right, so far, so good. Easy so far. All right. Now, with a transfer to one of these trams, I think it's this one, number four. Actually, it's this one, number eight. 424. Fuck, there's so many of them. <laughs> there's so much choice. I think I can take number 24, which is right behind this one. I'm assuming I can't get on yet if it's back there. So maybe I should just wait for him to pull in. I wait a minute for this guy to pull away and then who's going to come in. You know, Poland is actually very organized. Like it actually, I like it so far. I don't know why, I just have a good feeling of Krakow so far. Right. And here we go. Seems easy enough. You even have plugs and USB. But I'm gonna show you the coolest thing that I've seen so far, and this is why I already I already know I'm back in the right spot. Look at this. Look at this. They have uh, translations, so I can learn Godina. Check out the Airbnb, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Krakow. All 
and I'm here. Wow, this is like really cool, man. This is the uh, uh -huh. the half half flat uh -huh. where the Helena Rubstein uh, lived. This Helena Rubstein is this woman. Is okay. was like one of the most uh, rich women in the world history. Oh wow! Yeah, she was she, she was born there. Uh, please garbage. Okay. Uh, to the garbage. Also, okay. need this key. But what is important? Take it with you because without it, you cannot. Uh, oh, come back. Come back. Okay. Yeah. I'd say here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can open okay. it. But put this key with you. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like a glass okay. paper. Be up. Uh, for how long you will stay there? One month. One month. Oh, so it's important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very important. Yeah, it's quite okay. Quite. okay. This, this cabin. Beautiful. Awesome. So yeah, this is the apartment. This will be key for you. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so the, yeah. same as yours, I master. Key. Yes, yes, okay. master for for the main doors, etc. And etc. Huh? All right, guys. I'm here, uh, but I'm exhausted from a long day of travel. So I'm gonna go sleep. Good night, guys. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Good morning, guys. It is the very next morning. Just kidding. It's actually been a few days, but let me show you around the apartment now. So this is the bedroom that you just saw me get out of. Uh, okay bed, not super comfortable, especially because it's actually two beds and one, I hate it when they do that. Um, but overall, it's okay. Has a nice little sliding pocket door. The living room is pretty nice. I like this, uh, little rug area, vintage couch, which probably pulls out, but looks like it'd be hard to put back in. Uh, I'm directly opposite a police station. Which is probably pretty safe, but there's also protest there this morning, which was super annoying and loud. This is the tiniest TV, especially from being this far away. So I can like barely even read the text. I think it's probably like a 32 inch. This definitely needs to be a lot bigger, but as always, I brought my little fire stick, which makes it easier to watch TV. Uh, I like how it's big wide open space. This CD player is completely useless and even has a little iPad, iPod dock if you still have an iPhone 4. Uh, this table's okay. These chairs are not super comfortable, but it's been getting work done. Wi Fi is super fast. I have a little kitchen here, but it's actually just big enough to cook, and I actually just got back from the grocery store. So I got a little tea. Some nuts, apples, uh, skin care, avocados, lots of eggs as always, <clears throat> salad, uh, peanut butter. This is what I brought from Greece. This is really good chocolate. I'm gonna miss this. This I actually brought from Hungary, but these pocket espressos are really good. From the airplane, this was a gift uh, from Greece. Thank you guys. And I hate it when Airbnbs don't include any um, laundry detergent. Luckily, I'm here for a month, but if I was here for you know a couple of days and I had to buy a whole thing of laundry detergent, I'd be pissed. But anyways, this is the bathroom. It is completely okay. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, it didn't come with any soap or shampoos. So I had to buy this. This is why I like staying for a month. I don't know if it's uh, Airbnbs kind of in general, where people kind of just assume you'll bring your own like soap, shampoo, uh, and you're only here for a few days, so you might not do laundry anyways, but especially if someone's staying for a month, like it'd be nice to have a few basics. Uh, luckily you can drink the tap water here because the one thing that pisses me off is when I go to an Airbnb, especially late at night, and, there's, and I can't drink the water and I have to go outside to look for water, that would be annoying. But luckily Poland, you can drink the top water, which is nice. Anyways, I'm here for a month uh, and I'm gonna try to get a couple things done here. Um, I'm gonna try to help out some Ukrainians as much as I can, continue the fundraising. Uh, and I don't know what else, but I have, almost one month to figure it out. So thank you guys so much and enjoy. Oh, I almost forgot my best purchase. I bought a little potted plant. This is basil and it's only a few dollars, uh, but I'm in here for a month. And it'd be nice to have a little life in here and I can eat it.
So I'm excited for that. But not as excited as I am that we've almost hit our stretch goal of $15,000. Thanks to all of you. Large or small, these donations have all added up. But these big ones, Michael Tate, the anonymous, Denzel Robinson, Sean Handler, Thort, and Michael, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. All right, till next time. See you guys. Till next time. See you guys. <laughs>